1866, the Fisk School was established by the American Missionary Association, but shortly after that, the school was running out of money and was about to be closed. A man by the name of George L. White, who happened to be the treasurer of the school, came up with the idea of training a group of the Fisk students and touring the United States. His goal was to raise funds for the university. So he and his wife made the decision to take some of their own money and some of the money left in the coffers of the university. And together with nine students, they left Nashville on October 6, 1871, traveled all around the United States and were able to raise some money which saved the university from closing. Fisk University has been able to preserve the legacy of the Fisk Jubilee Singers for all these years. And that legacy includes the preservation of the music that the Fisk Jubilee Singers introduced to the world, which is the Negro Spirituals. We continue to sing those same melodies that the original Fisk Jubilee Singers introduced to the world which also led to other forms of American music. The other important thing is that many people do not know the life stories of the original Fisk Jubilee singers, who most of them had been slaves before enrolling at Fisk as students. And for them to become students in very young ages and making the decision to go on a tour giving up all the education just to raise funds to prevent their alma mater from closing is very significant and for us to celebrate this anniversary and honor them means a lot to me. Knowing that we have survived the past 150 years, I believe that we will survive another 150 years to come. This NPT Arts Break is made possible by the generous support of the Martha Rivers Ingram Advised Fund of the Community Foundation of Middle Tennessee and a grant from the Tennessee Arts Commission.